The NFL executive vice president of football operations, Troy Vincent, said that the league, quote, failed miserably while implementing pass interference replays last season. He said it served as a cautionary tale and that the league could not fail this year. Shannon, do you agree? Well, Skip, it was not, it did not go according to plan. And this is what happened when you rush an agenda across the table. Skip, if you look at the situation with the, uh, the kickoff rules, now the players cannot get a 10, 15-yard head of steam. You have to stand at the line and then take off. You know why, Skip? Because they studied, and over the course of five or 10 years, they saw that there was a high rate of concussions when players generated a high rate of speed. Okay, they said, so since we do that, they're getting a run start. Let's just try to slow some of this down. Skip, if you look at the catch rule, the Calvin Johnson or the Dez Bryant, we saw year after year, well, what is a catch? What isn't a catch? If it's two feet down, was he in a running position? Yada, yada, yada. Then they changed it. But, Skip, that was over after years and years of studying. Skip, one year. Skip, if this was an agree, I get it. This was one of the most egregious call, if not the most egregious call, that we've seen in a high-pressure situation. Maybe the, uh, the I think it's Skip, I think it was Mike Wimpo, when he got both feet down and re there was no replay back then, I think it was the Oilers against the Steelers. That was maybe a more, just as egregious call, but you get the point that I'm making, Skip. Now, if this was happening week after week after week after year after year, Skip, and you wanted to make necessary changes, I get it. But after one incident, you're willing to go and table everything and say, okay. But, Skip, that is a subjective call. That's what that is. And so now you said, okay, you were wrong. And, like, replay want to overrule the official that made it on the field, Skip. It's like... You pay these guys a lot of money. And I Skip, we can get to this. They should have full-time official skill. This is that's a topic for another day. We're just gonna deal with this issue, which is PI and what they were gonna leave it to a booth review or a coach can challenge it. Skip, it was doomed from the start. And I told you, Skip, I said, Skip, this is an overreaction. I say, because we don't have enough data to show that these calls are being made time and time again in favor of the defense. And what do they do, Skip? Because Sean Payton said you cost us the Super Bowl, Miss uh, Miss Benson, Gail Benson, the owner of the Saints, she wrote the letter and Roger G uh, Commissioner Goodell, you got to do something like for this. And the Saints fan, this is ooh, you kept her from the Super Bowl. And what did they do, Skip? They overreacted. That's what this was. This was an overreaction to an is to an isolated incident. Skip, yeah, Skip. They're gonna be they're gonna be missed PI calls moving forward. But I don't believe there'll be something this egregious. And that's what this was egregious, and yeah, it failed miserably. I know Troy very well, and for him to come out with such a harsh tone, Skip, lets you know how bad this looked because he basically said, yeah, we effed it up. It, this, was thing, this thing was doomed from the start, Skip, and I think they reluctantly passed it last year, but I told you, Skip, I said, Skip, they're asking for trouble. <clears throat> you, you keep referring to that blown call at New Orleans in the NFC Championship game, late in the NFC Championship game, as an yes. isolated incident. Isolated yes. incident? It the cost the Saints of it, Skip. the Super Bowl. Okay, that's, that's no, no, devastating. It it's it's a debacle of a disaster for this league. Well, on, what are you talking on, about? Hold up. Didn't the game go into overtime? Didn't the Saints get the ball first with Drew Brees? No, it was, that, that didn't end gonna, the game. That did not end the game. Well, it would have. If you throw the flag, uh, I think the game's going to end in favor of the Saints. Well, well they're going to get the ball down, what, at the eight-yard line? I, I think they're going to win the game. The, the point okay. was everybody thought the Saints were going to win the game except for that call. Everybody and his dog, my dog Hazel, said, what are they doing because she was upset. She wouldn't eat for four days after that call because she said they blew it. They kept the Saints out of the Super Bowl. Well, at the highest level of a championship game, you, you can't abide that. You, you have to fix that. You have to close that loophole. That, that it, it's, it's something that is so fixable. So I was surprised. I like Troy Vincent a lot also. I think he does a great job. I don't think he needed to fall on his sword quite as hard as he fell on his sword yesterday to say they failed miserably. And he said, 
we all failed. I'm first in line. He took it all upon his own shoulders. Troy, you didn't fail. You tried something that, that was a good idea. The execution of it wasn't great. It was okay, but it wasn't great. You just have to come up with some system whereby there's a fail safe, there's a stop gap, there's a fallback mechanism that will save you from a debacle of a disaster. So now they're talking about a sky judge. But Shannon, I've been doing this for years. I can go back 30 years when replay was first in vogue and they were talking about, we have a replay official who's part of the on-field refereeing crew. He travels with that crew. He's part of their team. He's up in the press box. He's the fail safe. He's the last line of defense. If somebody really okay. blows one, because we're all human, then it was up to the guy up in the booth, the replay review official, to say, right. whoops, we, we missed that one. And, and you know and I know you can do it like that. We're sitting at home. We see the first replay, the first replay. And Shannon Sharp sits back up in his palatial estate up in Bel Air, and he just says, ah, they blew that one. Everybody knows it. Shannon's three dogs, they all know that that call was wrong <laughs> in, at one glance. And, and it's over and it needs to get fixed. Well, if you have somebody who's impartial upstairs, that will work. What they found starting 30 years ago is that because that replay referee traveled and had dinner on Saturday night with the crew, that he was pretty hesitant to show up the guys on the field. So routinely, right. he'd sort of swallow his own whistle up in the press box, so to speak, and, and he'd say, uh, let's let that call stand. You, you don't want to shame your fellow officials. Maybe your friends are on the field guys that you hang out mm -hmm. with and socialize with. So that didn't work. So now we're talking about a sky judge, same idea, but you need him to be impartial and to be smart enough and skilled enough and experienced enough to take one look and say, no, I'm sorry, we missed that one. It's just for, as you say, Shannon, the egregious call that clearly needs to get fixed like that. It's 2020. We have cameras all over the field. We have unprecedented views of every play. We can fix these things on the fly if the system in place is correct and can be executed correctly. I did not love the coach's challenge part of it. Now you've got a gimmicky thing where, oh, you only get X challenges. You're out of challenges. You can't challenge that play. Baloney. It, it should always be challenged up in the box. It should be a booth review whenever there's any question about a play. And I'm not talking about slowing the game down to a snail's pace and making it unwatchable. You can take a quick look. You can see it often in real time. Whoops, they missed that one. I knew the Roby Coleman play instantaneously. What? There's no flag on that play? What, what, what is he? He tackled him. He got there like three seconds too soon because he knew he was beaten, probably for a touchdown. So those glaring, egregious plays, they're fixable with the sky judge. So if we do away with coaches' challenges and we do away with, with the crew getting together and not overturning, what did they overturn last year? 23 times out of 98 challenges, 98 coach mm -hmm. or booth review challenges and 23 got overturned. And there were numerous times, and I don't have time to go back through it here because we don't have time on this show, but there were a number of times when I said, way to go, NFL. You, oh, you got that one. You cleaned up your mess on that one. You saved yourself from yourselves with that one. And that's all I care about. So, Troy, to say we failed, no, you didn't fail miserably. You, you reacted as quickly as you could. You tried a new system that didn't work great, but it worked okay because it did save you occasionally. So now let's refine it. Let's go sky judge. Let's get it right because the refs on the field do not want to be shamed and embarrassed. And unfortunately, okay. they're human. And this is where I, uh, Shannon, I always fought with Jerry Jones. I've told you this before. We had numerous big arguments about this. He was all for what he calls human frailty. It's just part of the game. Yes. Refs are going to blow right. calls. It's, it's like part of the, 
the product that you're selling to America because everybody grows up thinking those referees, they're going to blow those calls. The refs cost us a game is part of Americana. It's part and parcel of the appeal of the National Football League. No, it's not. I, I know what Jerry's saying, but but it's fixable. It's 2020. It's not 1948 in Arkansas. So I, I'm sorry. Skip. That, that fix it. Thank you for watching. You can subscribe here to get the latest from the show and be sure to check out more of the best clips from Undisputed or go watch a few other segments from our other shows on FS1.